and lift it up and there you are left with your print. Hi everyone, my name is Gemma and I have another science experiment for you and this one involves a little bit of art. Now a while back I did a monotype printmaking course and this is a type of printing where you put some ink on a non-absorbent surface, say like a piece of plastic or a piece of glass, you then arrange different objects on it to get different textures, put a piece of paper on top, rub that ink onto the paper and when you take the paper away you're left with a one-of-a-kind print. I'm going to use this technique to have a look at the different shapes and structures of some different leaves. So I have an ivy leaf that I've got from my garden and then two different types of sage leaves. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is get a thin layer of ink on our non-absorbent surface. So for this, I'm gonna be using a piece of glass, but you can use a piece of plastic or anything that isn't going to absorb that ink. Now, the inks I'm going to be using are special relief inks. So these are oil-based inks, which when you put a thin layer on your non-absorbent surface, they're not going to dry out very quickly. So we want to get a little bit of the ink onto the glass and then we can use a roller to make sure it's all nice and thin and spread evenly. I'm going to be using three different colours. I have some red, some blue and some yellow and I'm going to use the roller to mix them in and get it all nice and thin on my glass surface. So now it's ready for me to put some of my leaves down. So I'm going to place these leaves down onto the ink they're face down in order. So I've got the ivy leaf and two different sage leaves. And I'm just gonna place them on the edge here because after we take the first print, then we can pull these leaves off, move them onto the other side once they've picked up some of that paint. So the next thing I want is a piece of paper. And I place that down on there nice and firmly and then you want a solid block or anything that you can use to rub I've just got a lid off a metal container to rub the paper in making sure you keep it nice and firmly held against it so the paper's not moving you want to rub it so that ink comes off of that glass and on to the paper every now and then you can sort of lift it up and check just to make sure that you've rubbed it across everywhere. And then when you lift it up, you have your first image. Now this one, we can't see any of the inner workings of the leaves. We just have the parts in which the paper has touched the ink. And because the leaves were covering them up, we're left with these white spots. We can take another print from this. And for the next one, I'm going to actually move these leaves. So I'm gonna lift them up and we see that they've got paint on them now from the side that was face down on the glass. So I'm gonna switch these over onto the other side with the paint side up so we can have a look at the indentation and the texture left behind when I rubbed them in the first time, but then also see that come out with the paint that was left behind on top of the leaves. Yeah, another piece of paper. And again, same method as before, make sure it's all nice and flat. Press it down firmly to rub it in. And when it's ready, you can lift it up. And there you are left with your print. Because this is the one where we can see the different leaves and the patterns left behind. So if we flip this around and start on this side, this was the side of the leaves when they were pressed down into the paper, so before we took them away. And um, it's a little bit hard to see on the ivy because we've got a lot of that red there, but you can sort of see the shapes of the two sage leaves, and especially this last one down here has a really, really nice shape. So the edge of the leaf, and then we have the veins through the middle as well. So the veins are what transport the water and the glucose. And then we have the, we have the midrib holding the leaf up to keep make sure it stays nice and strong. If we flip this around, we can see all three of them a lot clearer as well with that paint. So we have the ivy leaf with the edge and then the midrib in the middle and the veins coming off on the side 
as well and a lot of detail in these two sage leaves as well so again you can see all those patterns on those leaves in those different colors as well really really clearly and the shape and the edge of the leaves around there now i'm really happy with how this has turned out and how you can see the details in these leaves now the great thing about this printing technique is it's not just limited to using leaves to add texture you can use whatever objects you like and really it is up to your imagination so you can try things like feathers to get different colors and textures you can also add other objects so we have this first print where we have the feather and then we had a little bit of material here and then a triangular shape that when we flip it over into our second image was actually some bubble wrap. You can also try things like plastic bags and strings. You don't need to use multiple colors. You can just use one color as well and get a really great effect. So it really is up to you and your imagination to what you come up with and what you try out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more science videos every Wednesday. And thank you so much for watching.